So my name is Carolyn Ellinger. I'm with the Eastman Kodak Company. I'm going to moderate this session. The talk should be about 15 minutes with a few uh, minutes left at the end for questions. And so I'm going to start by introducing our first speaker. Um, I'm, there's very little information on the sheet, so if you want to more formally introduce yourself once the talk gets going, uh, please, please feel free. So the first talk comes to us from TNO at Holst. Gary Arutinov. Uh, is going to talk to us about laser-assisted, high-throughput, micro-LED integration. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my talk. As introduced, my name is Gary Arutinov. I'm a program manager at Hall Center TNO, where I lead a team uh, responsible for developing innovative laser-assisted processes for micro-component integration. And first of all, before diving into the content of my talk, I would like to thank the organizers of today's event from TechBlick for giving me an opportunity to present in front of you today our recent developments in microLED assembly. And um, well, let's get started. I think most of you, if not all, <coughs> are familiar with the Moore's law regarding the transistors. But there is also analogous version uh, for LEDs uh, with Hayes law, which effectively implies that cutting edge LEDs are expected to be continuously getting smaller, more efficient, and cheaper in the future. And in fact, we have been following this trend for already quite a while. And in my own lifetime, and I don't have too much gray hair yet, we have had a transition from rather packaged LEDs um, towards the mini LEDs, which are roughly smaller than 102 to 200 micron, um, which are often now used for backlighting applications. And now, microLEDs are in the spotlight. These are the tiny uh, discrete components that are self-emissive and already today they are as small as 30 to 50 microns and are steadily heading towards the sub 10 micron uh, scale. But we need to understand first why are these microLEDs uh, so exciting and why is the display industry so keen in implementing them. Uh, without getting, getting into too many intricate details about them, I would like to briefly uh, say a few uh, words about benefits of microLEDs. And there are, some of them are listed here in the slide. Well, first of all, as mentioned, they are self-emissive components, so they don't require backlighting. That's number one. They are tiny, as been mentioned. But they are also, we are able to control them on an individual basis. Basically, they are its own pixel. And that allows us to uh, get a darker blacks uh, brighter white, so hence uh, enhancing contrast, it's for one. Then since we are able to control them also on an individual base, then the ones that are not in use, the black ones, the dark ones, are not really consuming energy, so they are on a perfect candidate for low consumption products. And uh, also, since we are able to encapsulate them separately individually, they are also less prone for damage from humidity or impact, so making them perfect candidates for higher reliability applications, like let's say for automotive. And last but not least in my own list here, because they are so tiny as the thickness of the human hair, basically in a mid-range or long-range applications, they are barely invisible to the human eye. So making them perfect candidates for a transparent displays. So that's not surprising then the big players who have been very aggressive in this field to, to create their own stand. Just look at this. Uh, nearly exponential uh, patent applications from various companies, or you would look at the um, very aggressive acquisitions from the companies, and very intimate and closed ecosystems being formed for micro LEDs. It's very difficult by itself to source a reliable and good quality micro LEDs of today because there are these ecosystems already being tightly cr uh, created. But last but not least, market size, which is expected to reach and pass a 70 billion mark already by 2028. So a lot of excitement, opportunity, and hope, but then the question will need to be asked, if it's so exciting, why we haven't been able to successfully commercialize microLED displays so far? Well, for that we need to realize that a single display, a smartphone size, by itself will already, con already contain over 25 million discrete components that needs to be regularly placed accurately on a backpack. That for state of the art, very much state of the art, we can place will take over a few weeks to assemble one single display. Apart from that, these machines are not even capable of handling these tiny components, 
that's one one 